The real benefit of a film club is first and foremost, it is enjoyable. You don't have to be good at watching films to get it. We've won them, they're there, we've got film goers already. The school's located in an ex-mining village uh, where the mine closed 25 years ago. It's had very, very little regeneration. It's on the outskirts of Doncaster, so it's missed out on everything. Um, that's both in an industrial uh, way and in a social way. So the children who come here and live in Edlington have few opportunities for activities outside their home. Over time, we've enriched our after-school activities so that children can take part in really worthwhile activities that can extend their understanding of life and their choices in life as well. The film club came from um, meetings that we have regularly, um, the Young People's Community Group of Edlington. And one of the suggestions came from one of our children that they needed a cinema. The local cinema was at that point being knocked down. They couldn't afford to go to Doncaster, it was far too expensive and parents couldn't afford to do it. And I thought, why, why shouldn't we travel to the view and get stuck in traffic and miss our film when we could just travel where we live and watch uh, the latest film at the, in our community? We decided to show the films in the hall because it has blinds so we can black it out, making it more like a cinematic experience. We have a, a good sound system, which is like a surround sound system, and we could project it onto our stage, which makes it all more real. What I like about the idea of Film Club, as opposed to one of the other clubs, Hello. is they get to sit together, they turn their room into a cinema, the lights go down, the sound comes up, and the whole sort of cinema experience, I think, is very special. It's not about skills, it's not about learning, it's actually about pleasure, it's about being together, it's about, you know, the school being your place. Daniel absolutely loves it because he's there, he's got a chance to relax, watch something um, pleasurable with his mates at school, and, um, and they all have that that they can carry on talking about the next day. I think it helps him with his social skills and interacting, he's got something in common with children that he doesn't see outside of school. I like watching films with all my friends. And well, it's a bit better when I've got more friends to watch it with. If you stay at home, you won't see much people. And if you stay at school, you'll see loads of people like cinemas. It's really fun having your friends next to you because afterwards you can compare the films between another film and say, I preferred this film to this one. And it's better than saying, did you watch this? And then they end up saying no, and then you can't talk about it. And we don't get hungry while we're watching because we get sweet each day. And we have comfy cushions as well, so we're not that hurting our bums. Pleased to meet you, I'm Bugsy Malone. Don't call us, we'll call you. If you look at a club who's watching a film, you will never see such an eclectic grouping, self-selecting grouping of children as you're seeing then and there in that room. I mean, it's extraordinary. I don't understand how it happens, except that they have decided that there is something they want in, film, in the film club. At home, you'd put on a DVD and your parents were always in control of your remote. Mainly with me, it's my dad. And if he doesn't like a film, he'd turn it off and then that would be it. At film club, everyone, everyone's enjoying the films, what we watch. And we, sometimes we have a pick which ones we want, what we like. And it's really fun having the film club here because then even if you don't like it or not, you still get to watch it. Some of our children actually see films that are more appropriate for older children, having older brothers and sisters at home. So we wanted to see, let them see the fun and the delight of age-appropriate films in school. One of the films we showed was Nemo and one was Tarzan. Both cartoons, but really beautifully done and very, very colourful. 
and certainly since we've started uh, showing them, their eyes have just been open with awe and wonder. And what we're finding is the children who maybe feel vulnerable in uh, something where they feel they have to do as well as their friends, say art or craft or something like that, are coming to film club. I was quite surprised of how many children was there because I thought they were only going to be like 15 or 16, but there was 50 or 60, like half the school there, and I was like, wow. That just actually supports the idea that George had originally that Edlington needed a cinema. 60 children turn up every time, and their response is just phenomenal. They love it. This is good because all ch children are having fun and they're not messing about. Just keeping an eye on um, telly. With it being so big and you're not cramped, you can actually, and you, you're actually being able to see it, you kind of get into motion of everything, as if you're there. My name is Cynthia. I am a sixth former at Hornsey School for Girls. Teachers are incredibly busy, schools are complex places, um, there's a massive amount to do when lessons are over. Not every teacher is going to be able to or want to run the film club. Um, film club is an after school club. Um, it runs every Wednesday from 3.20 to 5 o'clock. It's an after school club where you come in, watch films that you choose. When you get the opportunity for a sixth former to run it, the film club absolutely flies in a different way. I really do hope to see some of you there. And don't forget, free popcorn. Sweet deal. Thank you. I make sure everything is, you know, running in order in terms of we have a film to show, um, we have a location as to where they're going to be showing the film, and I have to create hype about it. It's not a sort of tokenistic student leadership. We're not secretly behind the scenes working it or making it happen. Um, we, we support Cynthia, you know, she occasionally comes and asks me for a board marker so that she can adjust the posters. But, but beyond that, she, she really runs the show. I never thought I was a very organised person, very disorganised, but, you know, I, I think I've, so far, I think, you know, things have run smoothly. The problem actually does tend to be the delivery of the films. It's actually a good thing because you get to make snap decisions and you learn about yourself. I think in terms of raising the profile of sick formers as people taking responsibility within the school, she's really been um, a, a beacon, really, of that. So I think I've learned quite a lot about myself, you know. I'm organised, I have management skills. Hopefully it will get me a job. <laughs> so she's Abby, she's my classmate. And she's my little helper when things are a bit hectic, like today. And yeah, so now we start the creation of the best popcorn you'll ever have. All right, thank you. There were teething problems in just sort of getting the space right and the atmosphere right. Um, and then you go through a tremendous success when it's all brand new and then you go through a very disappointing dip. And I, I remember that clearly when Cynthia was almost sick of running it now because three weeks had passed and she'd been getting seven children or something each week. And you just really have to encourage them as someone who's run extracurricular clubs. There was a time where, you know, there was just such a low attendance that I was about to give up. You know, they're like, don't worry, you know, it's a new club, it takes time to be grounded, you know. And actually did, you know, so now members are coming in regularly. Hi. Hi. Today's film, can anyone remember what it is? How oh, the right Oh my there. god, it's the best! <laughs> it's right there. Oh. Alright, girls. There we go. At the moment, I'm targeting um, year seven, eight, and nine. When I'm choosing a film, first of all, I have to consider their age. I cannot show them anything that, you know, would be offensive to them. I have to consider that they're young age, you know, because my tastes are completely different from theirs. Whereas I can watch an 18, they can't. I can watch a 15, they can't. But I try to show a variety of films, something that would be quite different from what they particularly go see in the cinema. I've had a couple of themes. I've had an African theme, I've had an, an animation theme, and right now we're doing the Japanese anime theme. I've showed um, The Catch Returns and Spirited Away. So this is our third film. She understands what type of movies we want to watch and 
and if some people haven't voted for a movie, she'll get to choose one for us. And she does choose, she always chooses good movies for us. I like coming to Film World because we watch different movies, like we watched a movie called Hotel Randa, which was a really good movie, but I wouldn't ever think of watching it at home. The film we're watching today is called Howl's Moving Castle. It's an, um, a manga anime. Um, it's basically about the journey of a young girl who's cursed to be an old woman and how she finds happiness. I do like watching the films, but um, the thing I enjoy most about coming to a film club is discussing the film at the end. Because she said that um, because he was really vain, although he was really vain, she would not want him to die. Like, yeah, would I think, think, it's kind it's of I think the discussion after watching the films is really important because, you know, they get to hear, like, different opinions of the film from each other and they get to learn from each other. He doesn't mind who comes into the family. It's just... He just cares for everyone, even though he is a bit shallow with all his looks and everything like that. But um, he's still a good person. When we discuss things, it's just... It's easy, it's mellow, it's calm, it's cool. Whereas with the teacher, you know, you'd probably think, oh, my God, I need to answer correctly or she's going to be mad, you know? That kind of added pressure is not what I think should be, you know, in a film club because, you know, it's, it's, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to, you know, inspire them. I mean, there's not many okay. stories like that with action, adventure... Really? Yeah, yeah wizards... I think it's very rich and real in terms of learning. So they are learning, they are, um, in, in, in many cases, seeing films that they might not ordinarily see. We're asking them to engage to some extent critically, but all of that's happening within a community, fun environment, um, rather than necessarily, you know, a sort of rigorous classroom um, environment. So I think, I think that's got massive merits, really. Um, and, and also because it's their world, you know, the world of media and film really is their world. It's just a day after school that you can just like relax and watch a movie with your friends and meet new people as well. I think it does bring people together because I think the people in the film club, they like movies as well as me. So I think that we can share that in common as well so we can so we'll have it like easy discussions and stuff. If you don't like what's up there, you can nominate a film. You can just write it down. I also give them the opportunity to pick the films. So uh, every Wednesday, I have a little voting uh, box where they can vote for the films that they want. So that actually gives them the opportunity to choose something that they want to see. So it's not all about me deciding what they've got to watch, which I think is what sets this club, you know, or sets what we're doing in terms of, you know, an after-school activity from the rest of the clubs. OK, girls? Thank you, miss. Bye-bye, bye. darlings. Take care. Every Wednesday, it, that, it does take up a lot of time. But, you know, I don't, I don't particularly mind because, you know, I went into this knowing what it would require, you know, and I'm 100% committed to it. School does infantilise everybody a bit, the teachers as well as the children, perhaps, sometimes, um, and institutionalises us. And something like an after-school club, all the after-school activities, I think, break that down and uh, show you, actually, new possibilities and... Uh, show you as well how children can be different kinds of people if you give them a different kind of environment and offer them something else.